The Vital Signs Monitor SPM7100 series can be used for measuring non-invasive blood pressure, SpO2, and body temperature of one patient per time. This monitor can be used for multiple patients and generate alarms. It is also suitable for daily spot check round or in the emergency department. On the front of the Vital Signs Monitor, you can see the power button, the touch screen, the alarm indicator, and the button to mute the alarm. And here is the button to start and stop the NIBP measurement. On the left side, you will find the sockets for SPO2, NIBP, and the recorder. On the back side of the monitor, you have the AC power socket, the connection for the network, as well as USB ports, and the connection to a thermometer. On the right side, you have access to the battery pack. On the top of the Vital Signs monitor, you can find the indicator for the wireless connection. To turn on the Vital Signs monitor, press the power button. To switch it off again, press and hold the power button for more than one second. For the user login, there are three options. To log in as a user, scan the barcode of your ID. Then, enter the password and press the Sign In button. If you don't use a barcode to log in, enter your ID and password manually. If you don't need to save any data, you can skip entering your ID and password. Just touch the key, continue without login. If you want to choose an already existing patient, scan the patient's barcode. Check the patient information and touch the OK key. Now you have access to the patient's file. If you don't use barcode, touch the new patient key. Enter the patient ID and information and press OK. With the Vital Signs Monitor, you can measure three parameters, SpO2, pulse rate and IBP, and the patient's temperature. When you touch the waveform key, you can see the patient's SpO2 waveform. Apply the cuff on the patient's arm. Then press the NIBP Start Stop button. In order to measure the patient's temperature, remove the cap, put a new cover on the thermometer. To turn it on, press the On MEM button. Check the icons on the thermometer screen and wait for the two beep sounds. To measure the temperature, place the thermometer into the patient's ear. Press the scan button for one second until you hear a long beep. After measuring the temperature, remove the probe cover and throw it away. To record additional data, go to the manual input window. After entering all the data, touch the Modified Early Warning Score key. You can see the scores and the assessments. After the measurement, press the Save button. The data will now be saved in the monitor and sent to the EMR. If you use the monitor online, please touch the Save and Send key. The data will be saved in the monitor and sent to the EMR at the same time. If you use the monitor offline, please touch the Save key. The data will be saved in the monitor. After the data is saved, the patient file is closed automatically. To choose the next patient, just scan the barcode and the patient's file is accessible. If the data is just stored in the monitor, you can transfer it to the EMR with a network cable. Touch the Spot Table key, choose the data, and touch the Send key. After using the monitor, connect it to an AC outlet to charge the battery.
To disinfect the monitor, wipe it with a non-abrasive cloth, moistened with any of the listed disinfectants. When the value is out of range or there is any technical issue, the monitor triggers an alarm. To mute the alarm temporarily, press the silence alarm button. The monitor has a guide menu. Touch the guide key on the home screen. You can also find the guide key on the menu window. Enter the review screen by pressing Spot Table key. Now the Spot Table window opens. On the Spot Table you can review the data history. By touching the Detail icon you can see the manual input data. If you want to delete the data, please tap the checkbox and touch the Delete button. You can filter the patient by patient ID or patient name. Tap the filter bar and choose the patient from the patient list.